Okay, this is the uh, radiation uh, section of um, radiology coding. This is recording number four, and I just sent recording three along with the worksheet and realized that I was going to put one more thing on it before I sent it and forgot. So I, I will be um, revising that. Um, basically what it is is the information from page 531 um, in your textbook where it talks about stereotactic radiation treatment delivery and the different <clears throat> the different terms that that is called. Speaking of the textbook, on the next page, 532, there is a practical coding note um, asking you or suggesting that you put brackets around the codes that um, are reported by the facility only and label it as facility only so that way you're um, taking note to uh, watch out for that modifier 26 or modifier TC. So then back to where I left off in video three, I believe I had just talked about yeah, okay, the top of page 504. So then we were getting into um, the stereotactic radiation treatment delivery on page 504. So 77371 is radiation treatment delivery, one session. 77372 is a linear accelerated based. 77373 is stereotactic, uh, one or more, and not to exceed five fractions. So then, um, all of this um, on page 505 is already on the worksheet. Oh yeah, and I said all that already. I said that too. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. So we left off then on page 507, which is the page that has um, a great worksheet on it. It's actually a table that goes down um, the left-hand side are the different categories of treatment and then whether you are, um, what the code is, the description, whether this is under um, a technical component or a professional component. So that is a handy table to um, probably tab so that you can find that easy. Um, let's see, on the next page, on page 508, just pointing out that um, some of these codes, um, even prior to this, but I think even going forward now, like 77469, you're going to see that it's intraoperative. So watch out for that um, word starting out your code description. Um, that definitely means that it is um, intraoperative and it doesn't include any evaluation and management outside of that session. So. Um, proton beam, uh, again, is it simple, intermediate, or complex? They give you the definitions. Hyperthermia, radiation therapy, when given concurrently, is listed separately. That's the second paragraph of the guidelines there. And then uh, 77600, hyperthermia, externally generated. This is superficial with uh, heating depth, and so they're defining what superficial is, a depth of four centimeters or less, whereas 77605 is deep, and that is greater than four centimeters. 77610 is interstitial probes, five or fewer, and if it's more than five, then it is 77615. Page 509, clinical brachytherapy, uh, some definitions again, simple, intermediate, complex, and then the codes just um, follow suit. So 77761, intracavitary radiation source apl application, simple, 62, intermediate, complex, 63. Uh, 77767, remote after loading, high dose, I'm sorry, high dosage rate, um, 2.0 centimeters or one channel. 6.8 is if the lesion diameter is over two centimeters or two or more channels. 
Next code, 77770. Remote after loading high dose rate radio on the side interstitial or intercavitary brachytherapy. Uh, one channel, 71 is 2 to 12, 72 is over 12. <clears throat> okay, so that ends radiation oncology. Now on to nuclear medicine. Um, third paragraph there of the guidelines on page 510. The services listed do not include the radiopharmaceutical or the drug to separately report, report the supply of the diagnostic and or therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals and drugs. Use the appropriate supply, supply code in addition to the procedure code. And where are you going to find that? You're going to find that in your HitPix book. So these are then broken down um, diagnostically. So first is the endocrine system. Um, these are thyroid uptake uh, scans. Are you doing single or multiple? Are we doing imaging? Are we doing single or multiple uptakes? Um, 78015 is thyroid carcinoma metastas metastas metastases imaging limited area. Um, for example, the neck or the chest only. 16 is with additional studies, uh, for example, urinary recovery, and 18 is the whole body. 78070, parathyroid uh, planar imaging, and are you doing that with uh, tomography? Then it's 71, and if you're doing it with tomography and concurrently acquired um, tomography, then it is 72. Adrenal imaging, 75. Unlisted procedure is 99. Then we have the um, hematopoietic reticuloendothelial and the lymphatic system codes. So here's where we have bone marrow imaging. Is it limited or is it multiple areas or the whole body? Plasma, single um, sampling, multiple sampling, same thing down for red cells. Let's see, spleen imaging only with or without vascular flow, 78185. Gastrointestinal, <clears throat> nothing out of the ordinary circle there. Um, musculoskeletal. On to page 512. Then we get to the um, cardiovascular system, which we've done all of those already. Uh, respiratory system, I believe we covered some of those already too, but there's really nothing there to mention. Nervous system, cerebral spinal fluid is 513. Genital urinary system. Kidney function studies, I'm on page 514. I really don't have anything specifically circled here. Uh, therapeutic, page 515. The oral and intravenous administration codes in this section are inclusive of the mode of administration. For intraarticular, intracavitary, and intraarticular administration, or, sorry, intra arterial intracavitary and intraarticular administration also called the appropriate injection and or procedure code as well as imaging guidance and radiological supervision and interpretation codes when they are appropriate therapeutic means again remember um, it, it's not being used to diagnose anything therapeutic is used to treat and that is the end. Look at we have an all whole empty page on 516. So if any of those notes from the um, worksheet handout um, looked good to you or you want a place to put them, that works. And I'm just going to look back in the textbook. So it looks like there's a couple more practical coding notes on page 533. Um, so take a look at those. HitPix coding, um, again, the biggest thing with this chapter is going to be the modifier 26 and the modifier TC. So watch out for those. 
Um, oh, I didn't talk about specifically DEXA scans, but I know that, yeah, bottom of page 530, DEXA scan is um, what a lot of us have done. Dual energy x-ray um, absorbable telemetry. It's a common test performed um, to test our bone density. So that's where we find out if we have osteoporosis or not. So um, that's called a DEXA, DXA or DEXA. So let me see. I think that's all I have. I hope this worked out. Um, it beats totally missing a class. Look for a quiz. Oh gosh, there's a bunch of glossary terms. Um, oh, and I did make a, um, a, a fun game. I guess I said that at the beginning. So I'll be sending that along with this. So have a good rest of the week. And hopefully we're all warmed up and ready to roll. Um, and next week everything turns to spring. Okay? See you next Monday. Bye, everybody.